I'm Christine. No, wait. I thought you were ready. No. I'm Christine. This is Sharon. We both started the school in 2004. Actually. Earlier was, than that. No. Why are you saying earlier well, than 2004? Because I feel like, didn't we move into Unit 11 in 2004? No, I remember oh, because I had to put the documentation them. together. No, 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 no. Her memory's terrible. You might as well it's go home. It's been 20 years. <laughs> like, like. When we first started the school, it was actually our dad that put an ad in the paper. Yeah. And it was just a, you know, sister to sister are going to be teaching. We didn't know if anyone was even going to answer the ad. And I remember us looking at each other going, are we really going to do this? So we leased premises in Mitchell Park and that was Unit 28. And that was yes. an exciting time. We were yeah. painting the premises. Like we painted, we put the floors We in. put the floors down. We went to Bunnings and got the floating floor. Like we and did that. Did it ourselves. When we moved into Unit 28, we had a grand opening. And so we went from Castle Grand and, and went to Unit 28 and there was like a, you know, a red ribbon. We had the mayor. The mayor, yeah. The mayor. Um, you know, we did the, the ribbon cutting and, and our family and our cousins and friends came. And some of the families that are still with us today were there. We were in those premises for about six years and then we moved to where we are now, Unit 11, which yep. is, was double the size, obviously double the commitment, and was also almost like starting again. Because mm -hmm. it was like, okay, now we are going to take it to the next level. It was definitely difficult the first couple of years of, of running the business and, and building it up. Well, it was one, stressful. We're sisters. Second of all, you know, we were very young. Yeah. Thirdly, yeah. we were also in the we were in the peak of our music career at the time. So we were we just come back from being overseas and it we had an our own interesting um, deviation. Yeah, like the deviation yeah. was it's just like who does that? Even though it was stressful and we did know we were taking on a big responsibility, we were also really excited and we mm. were just looking at these kids. We were basically kids ourselves yeah. and they were so excited about learning to sing and doing shows and doing the kind of stuff mm -hmm. that we were excited about doing that that was just our main focus. My name is Tia. I started at Sister to Sister in 2004 as a student and now I'm a teacher. I had been dancing since the age of three and my mum said, you enjoy singing, why don't we find a singing school? Anyway, we're looking through the local newspaper and we found an ad and it was an ad for Sister to Sister. And I was like, oh my goodness, I hope they have no availability. My mum's like, I'm gonna call. And I'll never forget, I kicked and screamed for an hour and I said, I'm not doing it, I'm too scared. And my mum's like, just try it. I do remember that day. I remember that day where this cute little girl just walked in. She had a little beret and, you know, her, like, a, a, from memory, like the knee high socks and little denim skirt. And she was so vibrant and, and so, so naturally talented. And I remember Chrissy walking in. She had like a cool little hat on and she was carrying a boom box and her piano and her stand. So in the class, I don't know, I guess I just got a vibe. You know, I got a vibe seeing her and she picked that up from me. I had the biggest smile on my face the whole time. I walked out and I said to my mum, can we come back tomorrow? <laughs> I'm JC and I've been at the school since about 20, maybe full time, 2013. I teach piano and saxophone and I do some vocal ensembles as well. We've got our big showcase that happens at the end of the year, which is, you know, open mic times a million because now we've got all the big production and the lights and the full live band and everything else that's going on, choreographies and stuff. So, you know, that's just a ball. Everybody has a, has a great time doing that. You know, as, <laughs> as hard work as it is to put it all together, um, you know, we do it for the kids because we want to make it fun and we want to make it exciting for them and keep them passionate about what they do. So that's what I, I love about what we're doing really is that we're giving kids the opportunity through those performances to kind of get excited about being up on stage saying, here I am, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is what I look like, this is what I sound like, and I'm proud of it. You know, and I think that's, that's a really positive thing. Having a, a young student's voice is a responsibility. And that was something that we wanted to be sure that we were imparting on them and our teachers as we were training them moving forward. Mm. I'm Ash. Um, I'm, I guess what you call it, a senior vocal instructor at Sister to Sister School of Singing. 
I was a very, very nervous, anxious child. So I remember, and Chrissy will always say this, I would um, kind of hide in the corner in our private lessons. And it wasn't that like, I didn't love to sing or anything. I was just, I think I was so nervous, but excited to be there too, where I'm just like, oh my gosh. Chrissy really helped me come out of my shell. Um, I started at the school when I was 11, so it's kind of a weird time. Um, so to have someone really rooting for you and having your back and lifting you up through that age and as a nervous person, um, it really helped having someone like Chrissy as my teacher. My name is Carmel Rodriguez uh, and I started here back in 2016, January of 2016. And I am now a teacher here at Sister to Sister and it's amazing. I am a performer outside of the school, so I still need to keep my voice really healthy and I have never found a, a teacher that knows my voice the way that they do, but also can push me into expanding my voice and, and learning more about it and be, becoming the best version performer that I can ever be. No matter how many times I go on the road, or how many other times other teachers go on the road, we always come back to here. Like here, this school is the heart of their community and Chrissy and Sharon are the heart of the school. I did my first band gig and they sent through a list of songs and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to learn all these songs. And I looked at the list and I was like, I've done that in vocal ensemble, I've done that, I've done that. So the girls had actually prepared us without us even knowing for the industry. Those sort of little things I'm really, really thankful for. We've been really super, super lucky and I hope that I can bring that to my students as well. Christy and Sharon to me are like my mentors in life. I, f I feel like they treat us as their best friends, their kids, their colleagues, just a family, really. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram. This is a, a very friendly, fun place to work. We all do the same thing. We're all professional musicians that also um, want to give back and, and want to teach. Whenever I bring in a new student, it's always about figuring out where they're at and what they want and how we're going to achieve that. And then the, one of the key things is about keeping it fun week to week. Us as teachers get, we get so involved. We, we tend, we, we know the, the student's voice back, front, left and right, up and down. As they grow and, and we grow as teachers, uh, it's, it's just that connection between the teacher and student. That's what I really, really value. I love being a teacher. <laughs> um, I feel like it's my opportunity to give back. I've been given so much by Chrissy and Sharon as a student myself coming through and to use what they've taught me to share with, you know, a younger generation has been really special. Now that I have people looking up to me or the students looking up to me, it's, it's a responsibility, but it's an awesome one to have. So obviously when we first started, singing was, you know, our main thing, singing lessons was all we did. And then as we got into our own premises, we were like, we want to do guitar lessons, we want to do piano lessons, we want to do drum lessons and just kind of expand it. And moving into that space, I think was probably one of the most exciting times and, mm -hmm. and the big gigs that the kids did. So like, you know, Firefight, when they were performing to 70,000 people at ANZ Stadium, like seeing yeah. them on TV performing But even on, the on voice, stage with or, us, like we were on stage yeah. and then they're walking out and... Yeah, we tag, you know, whenever we can, cool. any gig that we get, basically any like professional yeah, we're singers, like, any artists that are like, player. can you girls come and do backing vocals for us or can you come and record on this session? We're like, sure we can. Hi, I'm Chelsea Warner. I was a student and then a teacher at S2S. I was probably a student for about 10 years or so. I remember starting when I was, I want to say 11. I started with singing lessons, just private singing. And then eventually that snowballed into like literally my whole musical education being at S2S. So singing, group singing, um, piano, guitar, production, songwriting, like everything performance, like workshops, all of the above. So I owe a lot to S2S and what I learned there. And it was just a way for me throughout high school to be able to like keep learning and growing creatively. I also got a taste of songwriting and production through the classes and the workshops and uh, like activities that we did at S2S. We would record songs, that kind of thing. And now that's my job, that's my career. So 
I literally don't think I would have done it without them. So happy 20 years, S2S. So much love from me always. Like, thank you guys for everything and congratulations. It's a huge achievement. I'm so proud of the girls. I'm not surprised though, if that makes sense, that it has been going on for 20 years. They've worked really hard and they've developed such a community here. They've got something really special here. They've developed something really awesome. And then, you know, their teaching style and um, seeing everyone actually improve and want to get better. There's such a good attitude here. But yeah, I think their sense of community is what has done it. And obviously them as people. I just want to say to Sharon and Chrissy, thank you so much for putting in all the effort to make this place amazing. Um, you guys are amazing. And here's to another 20 years. This school's the best. This school's, I can't, like, I can't leave. I can never leave. It's the, the friendships that have formed, mm -hmm. that's what gives me the goosebumps. We are maybe a little bit more mature than we were 20 years ago, maybe not. Like, you know, sometimes running a business with a family member and working as intimately as we do together. And two women. What is, and what's, what's wrong with two women? You know, well, we're a lot, you and I. You know, we're a lot. Hello? Are we not? <laughs> anyway, we want to keep evolving and we want to mm. keep learning, not just as educators and not just on, in a technical way, but also as singers and as people. We want to keep evolving because in our classes, we aren't just, you know, on the piano doing singing lessons. We, we need to know, you know, what, what music mm. inspires young people and you know they come in with all kinds of things it's not always a singing problem sometimes yeah. it's a school problem or a mum won't let me do this problem <laughs> you know i'm definitely proud and i definitely think that we do complement each other and especially you know when when things happen or you know if there's an issue we always have pulled together yep and we we are miss fix it people so. i can't get rid of us so you can't get rid of me let's <laughs> just let's do another 20 years <laughs> oh god Happy anniversary, Sharon. Happy anniversary, Chrissy. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's been pleasure and pain. <laughs> what are we calling it now? <laughs> like, are we done? Is 20, is 20 years enough? No, we've done, we've gone this far. So we might as well, um, you know, just keep going. We just want to sincerely thank all of our family, friends, students, clients, new, old, current, for honestly, the most amazing journey in business and we could not have done it without you. So thank you so much. This is your anniversary too. Thank you.